All right. Uh, attention, ladies and gentlemen. So after last week's meeting we had, I wrote down a couple of things that I was thinking about, and I wanted to let you guys know about them. Okay. Stanley, your hair's too big. Boom. Roasted. Kelly, your boyfriend, he doesn't love you. Boom. Roasted. Pam, you're so quiet, it'd be better if you worked in a library. <laughs> Boom. Roasted. Creed, well, you're old. Boom. Roasted. Jim, you're like 90 pounds. Boom. Roasted. Meredith, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry for hitting you with my car. I just, yeah. Uh, Dwight, you're not even my best friend. Boom. Roasted. Andy, you suck at singing. Boom. Roasted. Angela, you depend so much on your mom that you can't do anything yourself. Boom. Roasted. And Ryan, I didn't know whether to make a Sasquatch joke or a Wookiee joke. Boom. Roasted. So, as I was saying... Michael, you can't be just disrespecting your office like that. Toby! Good morning, Vipers. I'm Quinn Russell. I'm telling you, we have to fire him. D He's a distraction to the office. Dwight, you can't just fire Jim because you don't like him. That's not how this stuff works. Yes, you can. You're the regional manager, and I'm assistant regional manager. You know, we've been over this before. We... Oh, what? I didn't know you guys were filming yet. Oh, <clears throat> well... I'm Michael Scott, uh, regional manager. And I'm Dwight Schrute, assistant regional manager. Assistant to the regional manager. Uh, did you return those library books that I gave to you the other week? Um, no, I didn't. Not yet. Dwight, you have to do that. Your library books? Yeah, you have to turn them in. Oh, well, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, make sure you guys are turning in your library books on time, okay? But you know what I did do? What did you do? I Dwight? spread the word about Minutes That Matter that's going on from March 5th through the 6th. Oh, well, thank you. I told you to do that, huh? No, you didn't. Yeah. Uh-huh. Meredith, can you stop copying my paper? Shut up, Creed. I don't know why Creed was acting like that. I wasn't even copying. I'm getting so tired of this. Meredith thought she was being smooth trying to cheat off me. Don't cheat, just study. It's easier. Get back to work. Building relationships in the office has to do with engineering. Stanley, please pay attention. No, don't tell me what to do. Stanley, Please just pay attention and watch this. I got interested in marketing after uh, I think it was my sophomore year. My friend took the class and he had so much fun in it. I thought, hey, I should take that class too. And my junior year, I signed up for it and it was worth it. I had a lot of fun in it. Um, I decided to take marketing, I think, after I took it my junior year. I really enjoyed the class and I felt like I actually learned something from it. Um, so then I decided to take marketing too. Uh, marketing, we basically do projects based on business or how to, how to grow profit. It's, it's a lot of project-based learning and uh, I think it's really cool. I like it. Basically in marketing we have different projects every week um, and they're based on like different aspects of a business and how to successfully sell products. Uh, my favorite part about the class I'd have to say is either the projects because they're really hands-on and I think they're interesting or Mr. Van Kirk because he's funny. Um, my favorite part about the class is either the teacher because he's pretty cool 
or um, kind of like the atmosphere of the class because it's pretty like stress-free so then I could get my work done like easier. If somebody wanted to take marketing I would probably encourage them to because I think you'll actually get something from the class and you could like apply it to your future career if you're interested in business. If someone wanted to take marketing I'd probably tell them that they have to be ready for a lot of projects but don't worry too much about it because they're all fun if you really apply yourself. I'm Mr. Swanson, I'm a teacher at Verado High School. I'm also the head of delegation for Special Olympics and Unified Sports. And every year we run a fundraiser called the One Minute Challenge where we raise as much money as we can in 60 seconds. I'm here with one of my students, Ben Nucci. Ben, could you say hi to everyone please? Hi. Ben, can I ask you a question about Unified Sports? Yes. Is it something that you enjoy? Yes. And what about sports that we've done at school, such as bowling, bocce ball, basketball, cheer? Do you like those sports? I do. So we want our program to be self-sustainable, and we do that by hosting an annual fundraiser. Our fundraiser will last for 60 seconds, so we're counting on you to bring the change to make the change. The fundraiser will sustain our program for one year will help us with uniform costs, equipment costs, and we can host really cool unified events. Thank you for watching. And bring your change. And bring your change. Michael hired a meteorologist for the office so everybody knows the weather all week, but meteorology is a sham. I can tell you what the weather is like all week. Oh my god. Meteorology is a sham. Stop this right now. I can tell you what the rest of the week looks like. Sunny, all week, sunny. We don't need meteorology. No, Dwight, Dwight, Dwight. You know that Michael hired me here to bring you the weather for the day and the week. But let me tell you, today it's going to be a sunny day with a high of 62 and a low of 38. Winds for the day heading southwest at 7 miles per hour. There's 10% chance for precipitation and humidity is at 48%. Now heading into our seven day forecast, Dwight, could you move out of the screen? Thank you. Tomorrow, temperatures expected to be in the high 60s and heading into the weekend. Saturday in the low 70s. Sunday in the high 80s. Ooh, 80s, my bad, I meant 60s. And Sunday in the mid 60s. Monday and Tuesday, both will be in the low 70s. But Dwight, it's just science, it's not that hard. Just science. Yes, just, just. And what's in your hand? A weather application on your cell phone? Hmm, science. Hey Dwight. What? You know I can kind of control things with my mind? I don't believe you. Continue. Well, ever since I was about seven or eight, I used to be able to make things shake, you know? Make marbles fall off the table. Prove it. I'll try. It. 
Oh my god. It's okay here, but the rules are kind of relaxed, so everyone takes advantage of it. I'm a volunteer sheriff deputy on the weekends, and that's not acceptable. It's sort of one of the rules. Hey, D Money. Hey, uh, Big Tuna told me to get this to you. All right, not dark out. I got it. He put my stapler Dwight. in jello. I, I know, I know, but you, you had to dig it out, and you did, and you have your stapler now. What's the problem? It's Jim. You, oh. I didn't know you guys were recording still. All right, well, um, your books are actually on sale through March 9th, so get your copy. I got mine. Oh, nice. Did you? Uh, Michael. You, well, yeah, sure, I, I got mine. Our Quiz Bowl team ranked number two. Oh, nice. We're headed to Nationals. Okay. But congrats to all the other teams, too. Yeah. Who are you? I'm Jim. We've been working together for 12 years. Funny joke, Dwight. You're not Jim. Jim's not Asian. Hey, hats off to you for not seeing race. Okay then, tell me about that KVHS video you're shooting. Well, right now I'm working on VSPN, and I'm also working on Kiss Cam with Ivan Tonito. But right now I'm working on this office style skit, but I won't have it done till Wednesday. How can you be working on a piece for KVHS if you don't work here? You're not Jim. Hey, I got the reservation at the Vic tonight. Oh, great. I'll see you there. Okay. Thanks. You're not Jim. This is Jim. Yeah, that's my twin McKinsey. AZ Merit Tutoring will be held every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday between February 26th and March 29th. Students who receive a proficient on the reading and writing section will have their English grade for this semester increased by 4% and 6% if they receive highly proficient. Give me power, Michael. Give me power. D Dwight, you, I, I told you this. You're assistant to the regional manager. That's all you're ever going <clears> to... <throat> What's up, guys? On Thursday, March 1st, West Mech... South Campus will be having an event to get checked out on the CTE programs. Also on Thursday, the University of New Mexico will be here at the office. Which reminds me, did you even go to college, Dwight? I did. Right. Okay. And I have a girlfriend. Hey, Dwight. What's this? Oh, um, looking at the Cornell games. You going? Uh, you're a Cornell fan? Oh, yeah. Huge. Yeah. Did you go there? To Cornell? Yeah. Uh, well, I'm applying. I'm applying, yeah. <laughs> you're applying to Cornell? Yeah. You can't just get in if you're a middle-aged beet farmer. So, uh, Dwight, uh, come here really quick. Okay, Dwight. Now, I have the honor of interviewing you. So the first question I will ask is, 
Who was Cornell's eighth president? Frodo Skywalker. Ooh, that is incorrect. Cornell's sixth president was actually Quinn Russell. Interviewer lacks interview skills. Interviewee is attempting to blackmail interviewer. Interviewer takes everything as a threat. Interviewee has a face shaped like a trapezoid. Interviewer sucks at singing. Interviewee stole my girlfriend. Andy thinks that you have to have an extensive background to go to Cornell. But if you want to go to Cornell, you can go to Cornell. Follow your dreams. Hey, Jim, what you doing? Uh, just finishing a sale. How about you? Uh, not much. You do anything after work? No, I don't think so. Ever since football season ended, I've had nothing to do. I just printed out some local sports events going on, if you want to check them out. Yeah, what do we got? Well, girls tennis has their next home match this Friday at 3.30 p.m. against Lake Havasu. What about boys tennis? They have a match Friday at 1 p.m. against Lake Havasu. That'd be good. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait, wait. Have you ever seen, uh, you ever seen a track meet? No, no. <clears throat> okay, we have to go to that one. Wednesday against Desert Edge. Okay, yeah, we're going to go to that one. Well, boys volleyball has their next <coughs> away game tomorrow at 5.30 against Benjamin Franklin. Isn't that a guy? And Beach <coughs> Volleyball has their next away game today at 4 p.m. against Sunny Slope. Read that again. Beach Volleyball, um, first away game today, 4 p.m., Sunny Slope. Okay, wait, no, no, no. Let's go to these ones. I, I, it's baseball season. So baseball, home game tomorrow at 6 against Centennial. I think that's it. we got to go to that one. Okay. What about softball, away game this Friday at 6 p.m. against Moon Valley? All right, let's do it. All right. I'll see you after work, then. What got me interested in engineering was that I like to be a hands-on person and I felt that having engineering as a course would allow me to do that. Um, I first decided to join engineering just because I needed a CTE credit, but after I started the first class I really enjoyed it and figured I could keep going with it. Um, I don't feel like I'll go into engineering, but I feel that the skills that I learned and um, using hands-on in this class will allow me to take those skills and use them in a different career path. So right now I'm planning on majoring either in chemical engineering or biomedical engineering and I want to stick with the engineering field. Um, we do a lot of different creative projects. Um, for me personally, I've done a lot of EPICS projects, which is engineering projects and community service. So last year we worked with the special education kids and we created bumpers for their wheelchairs for them to be able to play soccer in their unified sports. Right now we're doing a Bobot project where we have to build a, a little robot and code it using a certain software and then give it certain prompts so that it can complete its task. I think the coolest thing about engineering is the creativity you get to do. It's very, with all the projects you do, you get to do your own spin on whatever you do. And the different projects are actually really fun and interesting and you learn a lot. It's a really hands-on class and that you have to be engaged in order to learn the stuff in there. And you, you kind of have to put the effort into the class and to get stuff done. Um, it's taught me a lot of new skills that I wouldn't have learned without that class. And it's also like brought me into the field that I actually want to do in the future. Um, to take engineering, you have a lot of creativity, but you actually like, have to take it seriously. It's not just messing around, like you actually have to get stuff done and it's a lot of um, hands-on that you have to like put forth the effort to actually get stuff done. Um, the best project we did was Bumper Buddies. So we made um, PVC pipe bumpers for the special education kids who um, needed them to play soccer. So like it was just connected to each individual bumper for them to be able to play. Dwight, uh, I think that's all we have for today. Uh, you can head out, have a good weekend. Uh, the office is closed today. I'm going to my beet farm. What? All right. Well, I'm Michael Scott. <laughs>